Sequoia 236 King Street, uh, East End section of Wolfsburg. Uh, I and several of the neighbors from that section are here tonight because for the past several years, we've come before uh, the Traffic Commission of Wilkes-Barre requesting a four-way stop at the intersection of Kidder and Laurel Streets. On those three occasions that we've come before the Traffic Commission, September 2009, January 2011, and most recently last month, August 2012, we've been denied that four-way stop. The Commission's rationale behind the uh, denial is that their documentation of the accidents at that intersection, the numbers do not justify the four-way stop. We have <coughs> 150 signatures from residents in that neighborhood that say that traffic commission figures and documentation, which they base their denial on, is wrong. Okay? Uh, the broad brush stroke to start with this evening is the following uh, residents on that street either have been impacted by the property by deflected cars or accidents on the street. 285 Kidder Street, 278 Kidder Street, 276 Kidder Street, 254, 246, 233, 238, 232, 226, 215, 214, 206, and 196 Kidder Street have all had vehicles impacted into the buildings or into the cars that are parked on Kidder Street. Now, why the traffic commission's figures are so different from what the neighbors are submitting and seeing, I can't explain that. But submitted for your approval and observation is starting with the most recent denial, which occurred last month. I'm sorry I don't have copies for everyone. I was not aware of the exact makeup of the story. Starting with page one of three there. You will notice that 12 days ago, line item number six, Hector Vendel at 254 Kier Street had both his vehicles totaled at 10.30 at night. Uh, Victor Vendel, as most people on that street, is a working class individual. And two weeks prior to that accident, he had removed from his insurance a strike by an uninsured motorist. So he is eating that $8,000 for those two vehicles. As a matter of fact, every person on that list has a deductible for their house or for their car. We're absorbing those thousands of dollars of damages that we are sustaining on that street. Now, before I begin or continue with these six line items uh, for the most recent uh, August 2012 disapproval by the commission, the reason we were given for the disapproval is for the past 12 months, there has only been one accident at that intersection. This is incorrect. Continuing on that page, one month ago at 246 Kidder Street, the Haynes family had a car deflected into their yard by a multiple car accident at that intersection, just missing the grandchildren that were playing there. The Haynes family has been impacted three times in the past several years, their house and property. The Haynes family has since left Wilkes-Barre. The house is for sale and vacant. The same goes for 243 Kidder Street. The Scalise family house has been impacted twice at that intersection. They have left Wilkes-Barre, living in Clark Summit. The house is for sale and vacant. 238 Kidder Street, the third of four buildings at, inter at that intersection, which has been impacted with a vehicle coming through the showroom window while customers were on the showroom floor, <coughs> is currently for sale. The other building at that intersection is the Primitive Methodist Church, which has Saturday night services and Sunday morning services. One minute, Mr. Yep. Yeah. One minute left, actually. Okay. Sorry about that. Continuing with this, we'll give you some of the uh, impacts that have occurred. That's Mrs. Pitofalski at 248-250 Laurel Street. She's in the audience tonight. Raise your hand. On a fixed income and a deductible on the car. This was 246 Kidder Street. The car that impacted this yard and the Haynes family is gone. This is Hector Vendel. 
12 cars total 12 days ago does not have insurance for an uninsured motorist. Continuing with the time left, the 2010 disapproval was because there was only one accident at that intersection for 2010 when we came before the commission. This is incorrect. Why not page number yes, two? 30 seconds. These are some of the accidents that, I'm sorry, that occurred at that intersection when we came before the council, the commission, in 2010. That's blood on the airbag. Some of these cars were impacted beyond recognition. Hey, I'm always afraid that they're going to me with this plate on my hand. You think I'll read, but you can't see it. They cross over. That car is fine, now, Kidder. It's very dangerous. Oh, boy about this. Previously, uh, familiar with the intersection, some of you may be called for the beach. Uh, recently, we're up there and I purposely drove through that intersection at different times today and evening. And I can tell you it's very difficult to enter that intersection from Laurel Street coming from the boulevard side, uh, especially looking for traffic coming from your left, coming out from the time you Extremely difficult now. This council never wants to usurp the authority of the traffic committee. But when you have this type of presentation, uh, this type of documentation, and a uh, petition with residents who live there, along with uh, taking a look at it yourself and seeing what the situation is, I don't know what the problem is. I understand there are certain regulations that have to be met. Uh, there's some talk about it being a uh, federal route, those types of things, and all, obviously you have to do things legally and correctly. But when you have documentation such as that, uh, the concern of residents, as you're seeing here tonight, obviously there's a problem. And I would encourage anyone here to go and take a look at it for yourself. Uh, I don't know what the problem is, why anybody would have a problem going along with this particular request. I think that it would, in my experience, being a traffic tractor with instructors, I did that for many, many years. This would only help to make that intersection safer. It cannot hurt anything. It can only make it safer. It's ludicrous that this is not moved forward. Again, we don't want to cause any problems or conflict with the traffic committee, but at the very, very least, I think that we as council need to request the traffic committee to carry next meeting. There is <coughs> this information that was given by Mr. Boyd at our request to continue to look at this. Uh, whether it's two accidents or 12, it's two too many or 12 too many. Especially if there's an underlying cause and there's something that can be done to prevent the third or the 13th accident from occurring at that particular intersection. It's been without a four-way stop sign for a long time. There's never been one there. I think it's a very reasonable request. I think it would make the intersection safer. I know the traffic committee meets monthly. I would just ask that we do give them the opportunity to at least make one more look at that before any final decision is made. Uh, I don't have their schedule in front of me. But again, we do not want to try and exert any undue influence on the committee. I know they do work anonymously, but I would like to make the recommendation or the request that uh, we do ask the committee to revisit this one more time. I know we waited this long, I know, and, and move forward from there. Mr. Zimboy, is this information being presented to the commission what you're presenting to us tonight? Yes, now the most recent page, one of three, uh, they do not have some of that information because I was compiling that in the past two weeks since the commission has met. But the previous two, they have had that information that was presented to them. With the exception of the first page? Yes. Okay. Uh, just so, in my closing, I just want to say, I also know Mr. Boyd boy has been very active in civic affairs, especially when he's standing a long time resident there. Uh, I do not doubt in any way the information he's provided here. I'm sure it's extremely accurate. I think what you're doing is very commendable. I have a lot of respect for the work you've done with the residents of East End and your long-term residents there. And uh, I think that we need to just 
ask them to take one more look at this so that we can move forward.